Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Pisces, welcome to your mid-month reading in November. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. And I have the oracles from the Denise Lean, the Sacred Traveler, which we will look into at the end of the reading for the advice and messages. And here we have the... Grand Lux Tarot by Chiro Marchetti for the messages from the spirit and from the universe. Let's see here, Pisces, what do we got for you and how is the energy we need to hear at this time, we need to look into, and what else is there for us? Let's see, loves. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus in Pisces. General energies. Let's not be judging, loves. You never know what we will end up in this life. So judgments are for others. For us is the support and gratitude. An overarching energy for the reading all right, Pisceans, we have the Hierophant here, Hermit, and Justice, and Two of Swords. There is something here you, you're very much looking into. What about my stability? Goodness, three major arcana right out of the bat my stability, my balance. It's like a deeper look into. For some of you Pisces, you may have into your chart Taurus, Libra, or Virgo, or you might deal with one of the zodiac signs. We have full moon in Taurus on the 19th going the 20th. So this energy could extend till that date or through that date forward or whatever you feel but i feel here very very strong for many many of you Pisceans that you are still procrastinating here or most likely debating what to do what's the best way to go somewhere because right now feels that something here is quite not here or you quite not seeing it. I don't feel you tell to anybody what you have in your thoughts or into your soul. Seven of Swords, the energy which you hold right now. Page of Wands. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles. It's like you... You're telling yourself that I gotta go and look at here, Six of Swords and Six of Wands. In both of them, it is movement. But the energy of these two cards are opposite energy. I'm moving forward. I overcome this. I'm great. I'm awesome. I'm moving forward because I need to and I need some help, or they are help there, but I don't feel great about it. So for some of you, it's more likely how you feel and what you show. Does that make sense, loves? And Seven of Swords, as your energy, or as you here, are you telling yourself truth? Are you transparent? Are you honest? Or is just a masking energy? You know, 
it's coming very strong the energy i am sick or i cut myself here and instead of working on the cut to not get infected and things like that but i just like put a bandage and it's okay so that's what i'm feeling here through the seven of swords something here needs to be worked on not just masked on and it's quite strong and i feel here with the page of wands there is messages there is talk you could talk here with somebody here and telling them well i move on i'm great and and i feel here it's kind of like you have no choice but just to move forward but you need to be honest with yourself let's see here seven of swords page of swords there's a lesson here for you to learn and even you could be knowing that this is you you might act like a page right now or somebody keep in mind flip the energy it might not be you it might be the other person you are dealing but i feel here that either you either the other person or whatever you're moving from there is still an eye on that even some of you may say well i am done i'm great i overcome this you're still looking forward or you're still looking backwards five of pentacles five of pentacles is somebody who is left out in the cold so that very much speaks here piscean that be honest with yourself you've been through a lot five of pentacles speaks about quite a few years so think of yourself are you willing to be in this energy for five years more or you just let it go king of pentacles this could be a job you you want to leave not necessarily a person and with the king of pentacles very much speaks that groundness is needed be grounded learn your lesson and know where you go and what you do next because from the page to a king that's a quite jump you know what to do loves six of swords clarifying please eight of pentacles work on those things you need to so put an effort into what you think works for you there is a learning process always and it might take some time knight of pentacles knight of pentacles speaks about the slowest knight in the tarot deck and i feel here it's a learning process but i feel here for some of you you are getting there but very much like a turtle slow but who said said it right slow and steady wins the race because indeed at the end of the day in the end of the day you are in the six of wands you will overcome this but i don't feel here for some of you whatever you do right now or say that you are into something over and done and great don't lie to yourself be honest with yourself that's what i'm saying here and that's why is this deep dive energy you know you are quite wise but sometimes we do say certain things to us just to try to believe it but do you believe that 
I feel here there's a long journey. There's a Pisces will get there. But, you know, what matter is the end. I feel here there is a one guy from the this show of the Shark Tank. Mr. Incredible, I believe, is said um, Kevin. And he said one time, and probably more than one time, the outside world see what is outside. It's seeing your results. The inside is only you to see. But I feel here, this drive is worth it. Whatsoever will not be quite easy. So Pisces, whatever you leave behind, I feel here it's not an easy task to do, but can be done beautifully. And I feel here is not impossible as well. They are people in your journey who are here to help you and who is showing you that you can do that. All right, loves, let's see here. You might feel like, no, 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 I don't know, I don't feel so. Open up, open up your heart, don't close it. And being open, you will see quite broadly wide. An advice, Eight of Swords, you might feel or you might tell yourself like, nah, uh -uh. this is in your mind. You are not stuck and you can do. Eight of Swords very much speaks about, oh, you know what I've been through, what they put me through or whatever. It's not they. It's you, how you approach the things and how you move forward. And yes, sometimes there are certain circumstances, but you know where you are been. Four of Wands. And if you tell yourself that you cannot see something, that's what you leave. Tell yourself that you can and that you can fight to get where is your target. Because I feel here, this is your target. I want to be stable. I want to be happy. And I want to be surrounded by those true, genuine souls as I am. But together, you need to be one of them. So, lovely Pisces. Underneath we have Queen of Swords, which Queen of Swords is that type of queen which speaks quite strongly, directly, and quite transparent. Be transparent, loves. Look at here, the Wheel of Fortune. You know that the universe has your back. You know that the universe tries to push you out there. But it's up to you if you are willing to take it or you just choose to not see it. An advice from the Sacred Traveler, we have fogged in. Absolutely, look at here. Go slow and take your time. The Knight of Pentacles is the real deal into your move. Take it slow. Go within. Vast vistas underneath. Expand your horizons. See the bigger picture, loves. Finding sanctuary. Opening to your spiritual source. Believe in the universe. And the universe will believe in you. And you can overcome anything. And this is very much to your Eight of Swords. No, I can't do, it's too hard, and this and this. Don't be in a victim mentality. You are not a victim. You are actually a warrior. And only the limitations you have are those who you put them in. But you can overcome them. 
and impasse reflect and redirect your energy we all are energy as the things around us shift that and you'll see the beauty so pisces that's what we have for you at this time and i thank you so much blessings to all of you if you really enjoy this reading don't hesitate loves to subscribe like share and as well your feedback is much appreciated namaste